So I've reviewed and tested out and played around with a bunch of different portable rechargeable battery packs. But this one right here is now currently my favorite. In this review, I'm gonna walk through what those features are that are really, really awesome and how this thing actually works. So stay tuned. Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and welcome to my channel where I review the latest technology as it relates to the family, on the go, at work, you name it. Some of my stuff is even tested by kids, although my kids are a lot older now. So today we're looking at this uh, 245 watt USB-C battery pack from Hyper. It's Hyper, Hyper Juice, available on Hyper Shop. But that is the official name. It's been out for a little bit um, on the market. It was crowdfunded and did incredibly well. And I finally got my hands on it. And so I'm gonna walk through some of the features on this that I really, really liked and sort of part of the reason why I'm making this my go-to portable battery pack. So let's get a little bit more up close and personal with this battery and I'll tell you what I like about it. So this is the 245 watt USB-C battery pack from Hyper. Um, you can see it is fairly big, but you probably can't tell in the video. So I brought a tape measure just so that you can see it is about a little less than eight inches long and a, about a little less than three and a half inches wide and probably about an inch thick. So what comes in the pack is a USB-C to USB-C cable and the battery itself. So let's take a look at how it works and some of those features that I really like. So the Hyperjuice battery pack weighs a little bit over one and a half pounds. Um, it is pretty bulky. You're not going to be able to shove it into like a pocket or anything, but it'd be great for a backpack or a purse or a briefcase or saddlebag or something like that. So this is a 245 watt battery. It's got 100 watt hours, which is the limit uh, defined by the FAA to make it airline friendly. So you can take this on an airline. I don't think you can read it here, but it says 27,000 uh, milliamp hours for the capacity. So that's a pretty big capacity as well. Um, and then you have all these ports here Hopefully you can see this. Maybe it'll like uh, zoom in on the macro here. Hopefully you can see it. So there are four USB type C ports. Two of them are hundred watt. Two of them are 65 watt. They are PD power delivery ports. So you could charge um, laptops and, and things like that in all four of these, depending on the wattage of that particular laptop. And then these two here are USB type C ins as well. So you can plug in a USB C power cable, charge the, the battery itself, and then um, you can actually use pass through charging. So you have power going in, power going out from any of the free other ports, and it's pass through charging. It's almost like having a plug and keeping your, your battery all the way charged. So one of my favorite features of this battery is the power button that powers on the OLED display. And this gives you a readout of the battery percentage, how many watt hours are remaining, and then the status of each of the USB-C uh, ports that you have here. And it depends on what you plug in and what you're doing with these ports and it'll change uh, in real time on the display. So let's see how that works. So one thing that I found that was really interesting is if I plug in this uh, lightning cable into one of the USB-Cs, it actually shows here that the cable is plugged in. This does not happen if you have nothing attached to a regular USB-C cable. When I plug that in, you can see nothing shows up here, but for some reason, it does recognize the, the lightning cable depending on where you're plugging it in. Um, and also you can see, hopefully, there is a little arrow pointing down that shows which port and what direction the power is going, and that'll make a, a big difference once I plug the power in to charge something up. 
So I have an iPhone and an iPad attached to uh, USB-C cables here. Let's see how this uh, OLED screen that's giving the real-time readout changes. So right now I'm plugging the iPad into the first port here. And you can see it's giving a real-time readout, like I said, on how many watts are going out to the iPad. And then I'm going to actually use one of the 65 watt ports from the iPhone. And here you can see it's the iPhone was almost fully charged. So it's only trickle charging right now. And the iPad's getting a little bit more juice, so to speak. But then the next test that I want to do is actually plugging in um, power into the uh, battery itself. So this is actually power that's plugged into the wall. I'm putting it into another one of the USB-C ports. And here you can see the arrow has changed direction. So hopefully um, it zooms in on this pretty well. But you can see the arrows pointing up means power is going in. These two arrows are going down. It's doing the pass through charging. And you can see the battery icon changes as well. If I were to disconnect the other devices, you will see the amount of time it's going to take to fully charge and what the battery level is at. So it says right now it'll take about 44 minutes to top off the battery. So that's the 245 watt USB-C battery pack from Hyper, the Hyperjuice battery pack. Um, it retails for about $250, so it's not super cheap, but hopefully you'll see why um, I really like it and why I think this is a very promising um, portable battery pack. So you can read more about this product as well as other product reviews on my website. And that's at www.hitechdad.com. If you have any questions, you can ask me on Twitter and I'm at High Tech Dad. My Facebook page is available as well for comments and that's facebook.com forward slash HTB blog. And be sure to subscribe and like and follow me on my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, leave comments below and I'll get back to you as, as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.